Hey everyone, Callie Gold here again. Just look at this mess. This is a functional junction that allows trains to enter a common set of tracks to get to where they need to get to. It is a time-consuming and tedious process to create this. Not only that, the better way to do this is not only easier to make, but is more functional than this. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily make a roundabout which completely eliminates the need for junctions like this. Before I show you, let's take a quick look at the signals here. With these videos, I want to keep reinforcing how signals work for different situations. At the entrance to any junction or track where trains can meet or merge with each other, you want to place a path signal. And at the exit of the junction or intersection, you must place a block signal. So let's take a look at this. Here's a path signal, which is at the entrance to the intersection. Train is moving in this direction. Here's an entrance. Where are the exits from here? Exit is here. Block signal. Exit over here. Block signal. Exit potentially over here. Block signal. So you always have a path signal at the entrance. And you must have a block signal at somewhere at the exit. Because that block signal basically turns off the train track reservation that occurred on the path signal. So let's look at these others. This is an entrance to the intersection. Look at the colors. Entrance, path signal. Entrance over here, path signal. Entrance over here into this intersection, path signal. All the exits that you follow through from these path signals have block signals to them. These are all common exits out of this intersection. They have block signals. This is the way it works in terms of signaling. Just to cover that, again, this video is not really about that, but we're always going to reinforce how signals work. It's about getting rid of this mess, the spaghetti tracks. I'm going to show you a much better way. One more quick thing on the signals. Here's another example of multiple trains that are on their own, but they could potentially merge with each other on this particular track right here. So at the exit, of each train station. Path signal, path signal, path signal for the three lines that could potentially merge together. So when one train gets the path, the others are blocked from it. The others can move once the train gets past the next block signal. This block signal is at the exit of where these trains could merge to each other. So pass signals into the intersection of merging and a block signal to turn it off effectively. This block signal is still going to act like a block. So this area here will be a block segment. So if a train is in here, the path opens up here for the other trains, but they can't get past this signal until the train that's in here gets past the next signal. Okay. So we still have a valid block. Block signals still function the same effectively. Okay, let's take a look at the roundabout now. Show you how beautiful it is, what it does, and how easy it is to make it. I'm going to show you possibly the only way to make it that other videos have not talked about. Have not talked about exactly how easy it is to make a roundabout. I'm going to show you a foolproof way to do it. And once you do it and you see the benefit, you will never go back to this kind of structure right here. And here it is, the roundabout. So elegant, so simple looking, but so effective. This particular roundabout does the same thing that that junction does that I just showed you. In fact, it does more. This roundabout allows you to come in here, go around full circle, and come back to this side, right here in the intersection. The junction I showed you cannot do that. So this simple design solves all the problems at an intersection. Look at these trains can just go any direction they want after coming into this roundabout. Okay, now the rules apply. Just like any intersection, the rules of the signal still apply. Paths on the entrance. Blocks on the exits. Path, path, path. Those are all entrances to the intersection. Path, and then blocks on the exits coming out of the intersection. Basic general rule, whenever there's a merger of trains possibly, you're going to come in with a path and you're going to exit with a block, okay? Let's go ahead and show you how to make a roundabout, okay? I'm going to show you step by step 
Okay, the roundabouts I make are on a 7x7 seven seven tile surface. I've color-coded these just so they can see the highlights of it. This is a 7x7. Seven seven. I've also added a pattern in here. These lines coming out through the center. So, 3 in, 3 in, and I've lined these patterns out here. This allows me to line up the track. That is a consistent track lineup coming out of my roundabouts so that it always matches in with other roundabouts when I'm connecting tracks. Okay, so that's why I put that pattern in there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start wherever. You can start in any order you want. Notice how we wanna go to the center of this one, where these lines are. We're gonna go to the center of this one, we're going to go center of this one and center of this one. Okay, so these lines are these lines help me determine where I'm going to start these patterns here. So it's going to go like this. And notice, no counting. I just want this track to go a little bit over the edge. See this? See how it's a little bit over the edge? So I want to line it up to where it's just a little bit, one tick over the edge here. This particular track that I put down is gonna go away. This is a guide track, okay? It's a guide track. So a little bit over the edge, and then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna connect a, another one here, and I'm just gonna come over like this. Let's come over like this. Boom. See this? So we've got this one in the center. Go a little bit over the edge. We're gonna connect a track to that, and we're gonna angle it right to this point right here, okay? Now let's do this one. And let's just kind of see if this is okay. We're gonna go a little bit over the edge. It's looking pretty good so far. Slap that down. Now let's come over here. Bring this one. Right there. No counting. It's just visual. So that one's like that. That one's like that. And we're gonna do this. Connect this to this. Look at this. Perfect semicircle. Perfect. Okay. Remember I said these were guides, these straight ones. This can be removed now. This can be removed now. And then since those were removed, we just go ahead and do this. Let's get these going for a little bit later. So that one's there. Come back over here. That one's there. No counting. Just all visual. Okay, this track lines up a little different. So... We're going to go here again, we line this up correctly, and then we're going to maybe come down a couple here and see if that goes over the edge. Perfect! It's going over the edge a little bit, just, just perfect, okay? Go over the edge a little bit is all you want. Okay, so that's a guide track right there. Let's go like this, hook this up. We're going to come right there, okay? Same thing. Let's do this. Boom! Look at that perfect semicircle. Okay, let's come over here. You guys, you can do this in any order you want. Come down a couple and see if this is going to line up good. Yeah, everything's going perfectly. Just a little bit over the edge there. And let's go like this. Bring that right there. And then let's delete this guide here. Those are just, the straight ones are just guides. We delete those when we don't need them anymore. Look at how you're, you know, eventually you're gonna be like me where you just start drawing this stuff. It's not, it's gonna be like second nature. Boom, another perfect semicircle. Look at that. We're, we're almost done with the circle, guys. Okay, this straight one here, that's a guide. We get rid of that. Now we already, we already did this angle over here. So let's just do this one. And boom, let's hook that up. Nice semicircle. When you when you are done, you should have no warps in these tracks. This should be a nice, nice circle. Okay, no warps. Everything should look good. As long as you follow what I just gave you, the instructions, you should have no problem. This should be all perfect for you. Okay, now now let's go. We're going to hook up the outgoing tracks. You're going to see the benefit of these lines now. Okay. So let's go ahead and hook up these out tracks. You can do this any order you want, again, any order. So I'm going to come in to this little connection right here, like this, and I'm going to bring this out like this. And I like to keep a certain, like that distance right there. So I be, between my tracks and this yellow line, which this yellow line I have everywhere, 
I like to keep this amount of distance consistently throughout my game, okay? Now let's make sure this is straight. If it's not straight, we gotta redo it. That doesn't look straight to me. So let's do this. No, it's already, it's not straight. So it's worth taking the time to do this. Make sure this stuff is straight. We had to come back a little bit down. Okay, in order to get what I wanted, we had to come back down a little bit shorter, but that's no problem. Let's see if this is straight. Yes, nice and straight, nice and straight. So that's what we want. That distance right there, this needs to be straight across so that your tracks are straight. Otherwise, you won't have problems. Okay, let's get this one. That looks good. This one going much better. Good. Look at that distance, straight tracks. That's why I love this yellow lines here. I just love them. Straight. Look at those distances, nice and straight. Everything looks good. Same distance, everything's nice and straight. Everything is consistent. You do this every time, all your tracks will be straight and will have a consistency of nice distances, exact distances. So, uh, how does this work? Well, this side is always coming in this way. This side's always going this way. It's consistent throughout my entire game, obviously. This is going this way, this is going this way. So let's put in our entrances. This is coming this way, here's our entrance. We put a path signal at the entrance. Where's the other entrance? Over here, coming from this direction. Path at the entrance on the right, because the train's coming that way. Here's another one, train's gonna come this way. Path signal at the entrance. Train's coming in this way. Path signal at the entrance. Here is an exit of the intersection. Block signal. Another exit out. Block signal. Another exit out. Block signal. Oops. Don't. Okay, that went on the right side. Okay. Exit. Block signal. Exit. 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 Everything looks good. Let's stand back. We are finished with the roundabout, including the track attachments. And they're perfectly straight and equidistance across the board. And that is all you need to do. Now, I can just hook this up to any of the other tracks in line, if I were to put this actually on a road. And everything would hook up perfectly because I'm keeping the same standard, the same distances. And uh, like I said, this functions as a complete junction system, better than any junction you could make. This is the way to go with the roundabout. Just to let you guys know, in the next video, I am going to show you how to do what is called a spiral staircase. Look at this. This is a spiral. This allows you to get from two different elevations on a train and do so in a very small amount of space. So the next video, I'm going to show you how I do this. There's other videos that talk about this, and there's probably different ways to do it. I like my way because it's almost foolproof. It's almost impossible to make a mistake if you do it my way. you got to keep these tracks apart from each other. And I made it to where I'm definitely keeping them apart from each other. So this is my version of a spiral on using trains. And I will show you this and break it all down and go step by step in the next video. Oh, how nice. I have my own home base here. That's why another reason why trains are so amazing. I just use my little private train, make it wherever I want, and go wherever I want. Okay? Okay, thanks guys. Have a great day.